Hi, my name is Jason Houtema, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Worship Artistry patch for the Pod HD 500X pedal board. Now, I know a lot of you guys use this, and you know I use something that's more visual because I really like to tweak knobs and all that kind of stuff in the videos, but I understand a lot of you would love to just be able to take those ideas and put them on one of these uh, great modelers. I actually have been really impressed playing around with this thing, uh, just the tones that you're able to get out of it. So what I did was create basically the Worship Artistry board on the Pod HD 500X. So this video is just going to be a walkthrough. Now to start off, I'm using the the AC30 model, which I, I actually found was quite close to my own. Um, I was comparing it back and forth to my videos. And, um, and I control that with the volume pedal here. So when it's on expression one, I got that set so I can change my volume. You'll notice it's slightly overdriven. times in our videos, or at least 250. Okay, so that's where we're starting. Now you can make your adjustments with the drive, bass, mid, treble, all that stuff. Um, you can adjust the amp with those settings. So if you want to make some minor tweaks, by all means, go crazy. Um, now, pedal one is a boost compression. So it has a little bit of compression. I set it at like 32%. <laughs> It just acts like a boost. So it's great for lead work. It's just a little bit, uh, it kind of pushes the, the tone of the amp essentially. Now I like to use that in conjunction with my foot switch two, which is a tube screamer. Great for lead work. I like to put those two together. Foot, foot switch three is kind of a weird one. I tried to set them all up in the way that I would run them in a chain. And so foot switch three is your whammy pedal. It's a real light, high octave. Now you can adjust that as much as you want. Uh, I would maybe set the expression pedal to it, but I didn't want to do that. I just kind of have that as is. But um, it's a nice effect. Anytime you see me using the organizer, it's kind of similar to that, right? So great in conjunction. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get into the delays. Now I have three delay settings on here. The first one is a quarter note delay that lasts for about a measure. So for one, two, three, four. Real light, it's the kind of thing I use in a lot of songs. And um, all my delays are set to the tap tempo, so just a heads up on that. So that's my quarter note delay. Got my eighth note delay here. You can combine the two of those together. Foot switch six is a, is a dotted eighth note delay. Now what I did on this is I made it more of that rhythmic delay. So once again, kind of one, two, three, four. It's another one you could adjust if you wanted to, kind of if you want to pull down, if you just want to keep it like a dotted eighth note feel without being so aggressive, you could totally do that as well. 
Now I've got a big heavy haul reverb. This is like when I would normally use my Holy Grail kind of or like a really heavy dispatch master. You can take the, the delay out and it just gives you that real great, it's great for tremolo picking. Like. Great to combine that. These two really give it a real wash. And then finally, I used Foot Switch 8 as a great kind of just real basic reverb that you could combine with the other ones, you know, once again for a little more straight ahead. Combine that with these two, and you've got uh, some great stuff for leads. <laughs> So that's the basic board, and you can feel free to you know tweak those however you want, but you can kind of get a starting point by downloading the patch. I put a link down below in the blog post. I hope you enjoy it.